wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not a telemarketer. Don't hang up on me. Oh. Yeah. Hung up on again. Are you being treated like a telemarketer when you're following up with your leads? Are you getting hung up on? Are you being told, take me off your list? It wasn't me. And just getting nowhere, almost right out of the gates. If this is a familiar occurrence to you, I'll tell you what is happening is you're not differentiating yourself from a telemarketer. And there's a remedy to this. And it's not that complicated, but you've got to make it part of your regular subconscious vocabulary. I'm James McDonald with Agent Lead to Close. I've been working with real estate agents for almost 30 years now, but specifically working with realtors and inside sales teams of some of the biggest real estate teams around North America in the area of lead conversion to appointment. What I've discovered and likely you have as well is that getting face-to-face -face with prospects is the gateway to selling a whole lot more real estate. If you're really good at helping people, but you don't book any appointments, you're probably not selling much in the way of real estate. But if you book a lot of appointments and you get a lot of face-to-face -face with good prospects, you're probably doing a whole lot of production. So it really is the name of the game. And the problem is if we're generating good leads or we're purchasing good leads, but they're all hanging up on us, they're all treating us like telemarketers, eventually what likely happens is you start to think these leads are no good. The leads are no good. They're garbage. You know, they're not interested. They say, no, thank you. And they hang up on me. They say, take me off your list. Here's the thing though. All of these prospects are prospects because they voluntarily asked for real estate information and gave up their anonymity in order to get it. So we know there's some motivation there. Here's the difference between you and a telemarketer. A telemarketer is bothering somebody who has done nothing to initiate their follow-up. Nothing. They're just the next name in the phone book. They're, in other words, they have no reason to be calling them. We have a very good reason to be following up with them. And that reason is that the prospect initiated our follow-up by asking us for real estate information first. So what we want to do critically is immediately before exchanging any pleasantries, which I know is a difficult thing to do. Hi, I'm James with ABC Realty. How are you doing today? Badly. I'm being called by a telemarketer. Take me off your list. We don't want to do that. Exchange pleasantries after you tell the prospect who you are and why you are calling them because that is what will differentiate you from a telemarketer. Hi, I'm James with ABC Realty, and the reason I'm calling you is because I received your request last night on my Facebook page for information on whatever it was, and I just wanted to give you a quick courtesy call to let you know I got your request. I'm putting it together. I sent it to you. Whatever it is that you did, but what you're doing is you're telling the prospect, here's the formula, you're going to tell the prospect what they requested when they requested it, and where they requested it. You're going to bombard them with the specifics as to what they did. And this is going to accomplish two things for you. Number one, it's going to decrease denial. Decrease denial. The more specific you are about what they did, when they did it, and where they did it, the less likely it is that you hear, yeah, I don't remember doing that. I didn't do that. It's when you say, yeah, I'm calling about the information. Like, was that last year? I don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't me. So don't do that. Be specific. Number two, what it's also going to do is it, using that word courtesy, puts you in a very different position. Now, all of a sudden, you're the welcome guest as opposed to the unwelcome pest. They're the ones that initiated this conversation by requesting the information first. And you're such a, a nice person that... Out of courtesy, you're letting them know you received their very specific request for information. If done properly, it sounds like the call's over now anyway. So prospect doesn't need to hang up or be rude. What you're going to elicit is a response of appreciation. That's the name of the game here. Imagine how easy it would be to have a conversation with a prospect who just finished saying thank you to you. 
thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. That's a whole lot better than getting hung up on, sworn at, take me off your list and all the rest of it. Now, there's lots more where this came from. This is a very brief little synopsis I'm giving you right now. And there's so many other tips and higher level applications in the area of lead conversion that if you knew, you would do, and it would change the game for you. Here's what I suggest. All kinds of tips like this, if you're already subscribed to Agent Inner Circle, that's great. There's always more of them coming, so make sure you're subscribed to Agent Inner Circle. But if you'd like to take our masterclass, the masterclass in the area of lead conversion is called Agent Lead to Close. So www.agentleadtoclose.com. It's pay as you play, so there's no contract. You get the training until you get it, until you got it down. All of this training to maximize the number of leads you're generating to appointments. And once you've got that training down, then you're good to go and you use it for the rest of your career in real estate. But education is certainly the gateway. So if you want to participate in the masterclass, if you're a fan of education, live every week we work with you to build in these skills, www.agentleadtoclose.com. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks so much.